Sultans with CNTV, and we are here at the Yabby Hut, the original crawfish joint. Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. Uh, this is a family-owned business. Been here for some time. How long you guys been business here? Oh, uh, we've been over to live it over two months. You guys offer quite a bit of things here. Everything from seafood, appetizers, and a heck of a happy hour. Let's start out first with uh, your appetizers. Tell me if somebody wants to come in here and drink a beer and have some appetizers. What kind of appetizers you guys got? If they're the first time, I would try the sample platter. Um, we have the fried shrimp, fried calamari, the fried fish, and some Cajun fried. That's excellent as well. Yummy. Yummy. Excellent. Sounds good. And let's say your platter, how many do you think that would, would um, basically fill up? Um, that would be a good portion for three people for an appetizer. Two people, it could be almost a meal. Excellent. Sounds good. Now, why did you guys pick this area of Denver? Was there a reason? Um, it's part of it right now is the, this area needs a seafood restaurant, and there isn't any one that we see is good. So, and we see an opportunity for us to be here. Sure. And, yeah. Pretty easy to get to you, too. I mean, it's right off of Wadsworth here, so it's pretty easy for people to find you. Yeah, yeah. So, it's some, some people are having a little tough time, but I think over time people find it a little easier. Nice. Excellent. Now, let me tell you, I love the decor in here, man. You guys got a great look, good feel going. We've caught you on a, uh, what, what we're here, Thursday night, and we've got a filled house here. People are coming in, having a good time. Tell me about some of the, um, let's go into the main dishes here. Let's take a look at your crawfish. Tell me about crawfish. Is that is that a pretty popular, popular? Um, it's a pretty popular item right now, mainly among the Asian, or more specifically the Vietnamese. They really like crawfish, but we also had a lot of people from the southern, um, Louisiana and Rolling, coming up and try our uh, crawfish as well. And crawfish has always been like a Louisiana you know, specialty, so we're trying to bring it here to Colorado, where the mountain. Why not? I mean, yeah, I mean, people love Cajun everywhere they go. It's yeah. tasty and it's yummy. Tell me a little bit about the um, crab. I mean, I'm a big crab eater myself, so it looks like you guys got quite a bit to offer. Yeah, right now we have the blue crab and a Dungeness crab. Both of those are really good. Um, those are a little bit harder to eat because uh, you got to kind of pry into it to get the meat, but the meat is awesome. It tastes a lot better than the legs. Uh, we also have the king crab leg and the snow crab leg as well. And uh, those will be really good with our uh, Cajun seasoning. Excellent. That sounds great. Now, once once they basically pick what kind of crab they want, what they what they need, then they can actually pick their seasoning. Is that correct? Yeah, we have three different seasonings that they can have. The main one is the Yabby Cajun, which is our kind of an Oriental influence um, Cajun seasoning. Uh, they can do the garlic butter, and they can also do the lemon pepper as well. Or you can do it plain steam, which is you know no seasoning, but it's still good. Yeah, yeah, still tasty, perfect. Once they've wrapped it up and they they want a little bit of dessert. I noticed you guys have a couple desserts on here. Tell me about the uh, Royal Crown ice cream and the fried banana ice cream. The fried banana ice cream is a deep fried banana wrapped in a wonton shell, served with some ice cream chocolate, uh, love letter waffle, and you know, it's good. Uh, the uh, Crown Royal is a deep fried peanut butter in a wonton shell shape in a crown shape, which, you know, I saw you at the... Let me ask you now, some people come in here, obviously you guys got a killer happy hour. We're talking 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. and that's Tuesday through through Saturday, is that right? Yes, and then on Sunday and Monday we do like normal, like an all-day happy hour, trying to get some football fan in here, people come in here and have some beers. So you're talking about a happy hour that goes from 3 to 6, Tuesday through Sunday, but on uh, Tuesday through Saturday. On Sunday and Monday, you actually have, it's happy hour, happy all day. Yeah, it's an all-day thing. Yeah. And that's what, $2 domestics? Uh, on the happy hour during to Tuesday to Saturday, it's just two dollar domestic. On Sunday and Monday, it'll be all beer, two dollars. Excellent. And so, like you say, you got a little bar behind me. I see here. We're gonna get some footage here. But basically, you've got you've got bottlenecks here for anybody that want to come in get their drink on, which is fantastic. What about small parties, small groups? Do you guys accommodate that? Yeah, we do. Uh, we would like to have some notice in advance just so that we can prepare our kitchen and see our volume. Perfect. Tell me about the the craw of fame. I see the wall up here. Tell me a little bit about that. What's that all about? Uh, the call frame is a challenge we have for all our guests. Basically, if they eat the crawfish and stack it up to 12 inches, then we'll take that picture, give them some discount, put it on our Facebook account, and, you know, that's a crawl frame. So it kind of some challenge for a group just to come here, have fun, relax, and, you know, something to do. Not only that, but you can find you guys on the website here. I noticed the yabbyhut.com. You can check it out there. Um, is your menu online? Yeah, we have a menu online. We also post our special, like, you know, the happy hour, uh, all, all the special that we have on our website. What about some Somebody wants to order something to go. Is that possible? Yes. Uh, you can phone in your order or just come by do to go. We just don't do delivery right now. Excellent. Sounds good. We got a we got a happening place behind us here. We're gonna
going to pick up a camera and get some footage of everybody and give give the viewers out there an idea of what it feels like to be here. I can tell you right now from just sitting here, it is a very cool environment. I mean, first of all, the decor is killer. I mean, tell me a little bit about the side area over there. What what is that supposed to portray? It's a uh, Mr. Seafood restaurant, so you generally seafood, you know, you feel like you might have bay, you know, taste better. So that's kind of the idea of the side over there is uh, just to kind of let everybody sit there and just feel, like, hey, I'm on the bay side having some seafood. When you walk in here, it smells like you're at seafood. It smells like you're at seaside. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool. It makes you hungry. Yeah, we try to make the all the deck decor is basically it's all authentic, used uh, fisherman stuff. So you know, nothing new, and you know, everything look pretty good. It's used. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Lynn, we appreciate. I'm sure a lot of the viewers out there are going to want to run down here, check out the Yabby Hut. It is the original crawfish joint of Colorado, Denver, right here, and um, they're easy to get to. Check it out right there. The website's at the bottom of the screen. So is the phone number. Give them a call. Lynn will take care of you. The family will take care of you. And uh, we're going to check it out and maybe grab a little bit of uh, seafood. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know. Yeah.